ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان خير الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار فاعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم من همزه ونفخه ونفسه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولتكملوا العده ولتكبروا الله على ما هداكم ولعلكم تشكرون Dear brothers and sisters alhamdulillah we have recently spent a whole month enjoying the blessings of our lord between supplication prayer remembrance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving sadaqa and recitation of the holy quran fear allah and give thanks to him on account of the great favors he has endowed upon us including the completion of fasting and voluntary night prayers which are the greatest of all favors ask allah subhanahu wa taala to accept our deeds and to overlook our mistakes for he is the most generous of all those who show generosity and most kind of those who show kindness my brothers and sisters Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed Muslim Ummah with two Eid celebrations in the whole year. Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said at the time of Eid al-Fitr, إِنَّ لِكُلِّ قَوْمٍ عِيدًا وَهَادَ عِيدُنَا This hadith is reported by Imam Bukhari rahmahu Allah. Meaning, every nation has a day of Eid. and this is our eid however our eid is different from the eid and celebration of other nations we dress in clean and new or one of the best clothes wear perfume and we all join with our families in musalla and offer two rakat of eid with dignity and respect to thank allah subhanahu wa taala dear brothers and sisters We need to understand the purpose of Eid al-Fitr and why we are celebrating it today. To understand this, we need to know the purpose of our creation. Why Allah Subhanahu wa Taala sent us to this world? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Oma khalaqu al-jinn wa al-insa illa liyabudun." And I created not the jinn and mankind except that they should worship me alone. The only purpose. of our creation is to worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the real worship is that we spend our whole life according to the commands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our individual life family life social life business life and every aspect of our life should be according to the commands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in other words total obedience to the good that allah has commanded and refraining from from what allah subhanahu wa taala has forbidden it is my brothers and sisters easier said than done to implement the commands of allah in all our life is not easy we are led astray by the shaitan and other worldly things which attract us allah has made compulsory for us certain kind of worship to lead us 
to this whole submission to him such as prayer zakat hajj and fasting in the month of ramadan my brothers and sisters fasting is such worship that one even refrains from things that are normally halal and lawful for him such as eating and drinking likewise in this month we try to strictly keep away from all small and major bad deeds there becomes such atmosphere that we progress in worship night prayer helping the poor and needy this whole month of ramadan trains us for the real worship of allah for the rest of the year <coughs> when the training is complete it is celebrated on the first day of shawwal we go to the eid prayer place while loudly reciting the takbirat of eid and praising allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we pray two rakats to thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa li tukmilu al-iddata wa li tukabbiru allah la ma hadakum wa la'allakum tashkurun allah almighty wants that you must complete the same number of days and that you must <coughs> magnify allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for having guided you so that you may be grateful to him my brothers and sisters <coughs> on eid day allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses <coughs> and rewards those fasted and worship with sincerity this is like achievement and reward day my brothers and sisters <coughs> after ramadan we must maintain our training and strength of iman that we had in ramadan during the rest of the year those who spend the whole year similar to ramadan <coughs> they are the ones who have benefited from the month of ramadan in its true sense when one compares the people's spiritual condition during ramadan to that after it they will certainly see signs of laziness and negligence in terms of performing righteous deeds <coughs> it is as it acts of worship and repentance were only meant for ramadan my brother such people are ignorant of the fact that allah is the lord of all months and that ramzan is only meant to be an occasion when one renews their steadfastness to worship allah and continue in it continue in that that is why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after prescribing fasting he slays that la'allakum tattaqun so that you may attain piety my brothers and sisters according to the prophet's conduct it is preferable for one who has attended the eid prayer to return home using a different route from the one that he took going to the place of prayer it was narrated that jabir radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu said on the day of eid the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to change his route the reason for that is that the route the two routes would testify for him on the day of judgment for the earth will speak on the day of judgment and say what was done on it it has become okay accustomed that people shake hands with each other and exchange congratulations on the occasion of the eid which is a good practice that brings about friendliness and eliminates hatred and enmity the companions of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to greet each other by saying taqabbal allah minna wa minkum which means may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us and you my brothers and sisters continue in your good deeds even after ramadan be constant in observing the five obligatory obligatory prayers and other acts of worship know that among the signs of acceptance of a good deed is to continue and be steadfast in performing that deed know also that it is only the evil people who know and worship allah in ramadan only my brothers and sisters there are some of our brothers and sisters around the world who have been afflicted with calamities and tribulations so invoke allah subhanahu wa ta'ala patiently to have mercy on these helpless brothers and sisters and ask him to rescue them from those oppressors 
Remember, nothing is more valuable in the sight of Allah than supplication to keep supplicating. I pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, O oh Allah, your servants have come to this place seeking your reward and bounty and fearing your punishment. So forgive us all. O oh Allah, fulfill our wish and secure us against that which we fear and gather us on the world, world of truth. Make smooth for us the path of paradise and save us from the path of misery. Forgive us in the worldly life and in the hereafter. Ameen. Inna Allahumma laika tawhi salluna ala nabi Ya ayu waladina amanu sallu alihi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma salli ala muhammadi wa ala ala muhammadi kama salli ta'ala ibrahim wa ala ala ibrahim inna ka hamidu majid Allahumma barik ala muhammadi wa ala ala muhammadi kama barik ta'ala ibrahim wa ala ala ibrahim inna ka hamidu majid wa salli ala jameel ambiya ibal musalim wa ala ala malayikat al muqarabin wa ala ala khulafai al rashidin wa ala ala sahabati kulli majmain wa ala man tabi'ahum biyasani illa mujidin rizwanu lahi ta'ala alihi majmain Allahumma akfir lana Allahumma akfir lana اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدنا ولوالد والدنا ولاساتذتنا وجميع المؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الاحياء منهم والاموات انك سميع قريب ومجيب الدعوات اللهم اعز الاسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر الاسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر من نصر دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم واجعلنا منهم واخذ من قتل دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ولا تجعلنا منهم عباد الله اوصيكم وهي يا بتقوى الله رحمني ورحمكم الله ان الله يأمر بالعدل والاحسان وايتاء القربى وانهان فاشاي والمنكر والبر يعيدكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله يذكركم وادعوه يستجيب لكم ولا ذكر الله تعالى اعلى واولى وجل وتم وهم واكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون فخبر الله منا ومنكم